quite a few days off. Um, just work and friends and... Yeah, but anyway, it is good to be back. And this time... No cutting every freaking two minutes in a video. Oh, that was so bad to edit. I regret making that. But... It's like the curse of the first episode for me. It's always been problematic for the one Let's Play I've done. Uh, okay, I forgot where on earth we were going. Are we leaving? Is it this way? It looks like it's this way. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but I finally have a day off tomorrow for the most part. So, oh, we're going behind this big statue. Alrighty. So I can record a lot more tomorrow, which I am super. I don't want to have to remind you, but keep your eyes on the girl. Okay. okay. But too bad we didn't meet in better circumstances. Uh, you really don't have a skeptical bone in your body. No, he's so right. Of course he doesn't. We'll be able to record like a long session tomorrow. Cause today I'm just recording one episode and then going. But we made it back still in one piece. Still good to be recording. Wow, it's beautiful. Just like you. Like a shrine Aww. out of myth. I half expect to see Seraphim wandering around. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> Seraphim. Is that Seraphim. funny to you? Nope. Things which cannot be seen or explained, such as gods, spirits, or supernatural phenomena, are revered by the people as Seraphim. Yeah. Right? A quote from the Celestial Record? That I carry Bingo. along with me. It's my pickup line. Too? Yep. Wait, you as well? Uh, I used to read it all the time when I was a kid. <laughs> These two are really cute. Yeah. It's a little ways from here to my village. Let's get moving. Okay. Miklio has had enough. Okay. So, uh, is the Celestial Record a children's book? Hmm? Well, I mean, you said you read it when you were a kid. Plenty of adults Ooh, stuff read I can it pick too. up around I was here. probably just mature for my age. Oh, yeah? Huh. Well, figures. I mean, it is an amazing book. Yes. Well, it looks like what? someone's enjoying himself. This is my village. Alicia. Alicia. So that's it's not Camlon, but Alicia, then. And the okay. Were false after Bipolar all. chest. That's cool. But yeah, it's always good to explore around in this stuff. Um, I don't know. I'll probably leave some camera. It's fun. You guys get to see some cool stuff. Pretty graphics. Ha ha ha! And another chest. Pays to explore. An ice pop. Orange flavored ice candy. Easy to make. Just stick juice in a free. Oh, wow. I used to make that when I was younger. Um, I would get lemonade and use, like, the little ice trays and make, like, little lemonade pops. I should do that now that I'm here. Uh, don't know where I was going with that, but I need to do that again because that was really good and super delicious. So. But, like, halfway through <laughs> eating the little, basically, ice cube, I start crunching it in my mouth. <laughs> Which I'm sure it was great. Is that a monolith? Team. Yes, it is a monolith. Uh, quick step. Already know how to do that. Could probably add in something else to the AP thing. Let me check that real quick. Support Talon's battle actions. Is it here? Yes, I have five. Okay, uh... I think sidestep would be very nice to just have on auto. Wait, okay, no, I only have two. That's fine. I think that is our home over there. Yep. Aw. What are these? What are those? What are those Sorry. creatures? <laughs> what do you mean creatures? They're goats. Goats? No. Are they usually this big? These are. Are they antelope? Is that what? Highland goat. Ooh. Skit. Such robust horns. Just like the dragons of legend. <laughs> What, like in fairy tales? There's something else. Don't go near it! There's no telling how dangerous untamed beasts like those are. Ah, don't worry. We're friends. Oh, well, mostly. They did kick me four or five times when I was little. Oh, sorry. Friends? Yep. 
Sometimes they give me milk, and I make cheese and yogurt with everyone. The mark of true friendship. Yeah, it's the best. Oh, that was really cute. <laughs> She's adorable being scared of the goats. I don't know, goats can be kind of vicious. But, uh, kids? Is that what the baby goats are called? Those are really cute. Okay, we should be here. What a pretty village. I'll go report this to Gramps. I guess oh, we she can't keep quiet about one. all this. Coming by afterwards? Because yeah. if she can't see Mikleo. And I'm pretty sure. Is that my neighbor's good Hey, everyone. Got someone to introduce to you. Oh, yeah. Because everyone else here is Seraphim. Oh, this is uncomfortable. This is my family, living here at the shrine. Oh, this is about to be really awkward. Is She's like this, this crazy uh, person. Some kind of performance piece? No, uh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Oh, You're how an odd duck, you know that? I guess. That's my house. You go ahead and rest. I've got something to take care of. May I have a look around the village? Well, sure, but don't cause trouble. Of course not. I'll behave as if I were in a shrine to the Seraphim. Which yeah, you exactly. are. I'll try not to make any waves. <laughs> oh man. I sure hope Mikleo's chat with Gramps went over well. For some odd reason, I doubt it. And no, that isn't my neighbors, it's my cats. Son of a gun. I put them in my bedroom and stuff when I record just because, like. <laughs> well, they like to be loud and annoying. Uh, so, I put them in my bedroom. And if I remember correctly, there is a thing over here somewhere. Like a little checkpoint. Boop. Okay, we'll come back to that in a minute. But anyway, uh, so I noticed that they've been slowly like tearing at the carpet like right outside my closet doors. So I was like, okay, I'll just open one for them. That way they can get in there and they won't Mess around with that. Is it up here? Yes. What's that? Ha ha ha. Little tidbit for you. I do remember that, because that took forever. But anyway, I left one closet door open, and they're just sitting there banging that around. Oh, hey. Just can't There's win. There's no baby Elisa larks in the nest anymore. Elisa larks. I remember when one of them fell from the nest. I was going to keep it and raise it, but Gramps wouldn't let me. A kept bird will never learn to fly, he said. Put it back. Guess you made it out of the nest on your own, huh? Aw, Suri is such like an innocent cinnamon roll. I just love him. Okay, I think that's really all we have. Ooh, I think we can talk to people, actually. Hold up. We saw a terrifying flash of lightning over by the ruins. Were you hurt at all? Uh, we weren't hurt. But we did meet someone. Oh, you're pretty. I wonder how long it's been since I saw a human other than Saray. At least a couple hundred years. I just hope this isn't a bad omen. <laughs> I like the little happy faces above there. Oh no, she's done. She gives up. Mikleo went in looking pretty troubled, but don't let it get to you. He and Gramps have your best interest at heart. You know that, right? I do know that. Okay, we got one more person over here to talk to. I feel like they each have their own color scheme. Like, that one girl is pink, this one's orange. Hi. You mustn't be too trusting, sir, eh? You can't be too careful of the earth dwellers from the land below. Hopefully my reading skills will improve. Okay, let's go talk to you, Gramps, because I think that is the main thing to do. And I'll go ahead and do a new save. Yep. Okay, we are good. Go on in. Oh, this is our home. Okay, this isn't where we want to go. Where's Gramps' house? For some reason, I thought Saray lived with Grandpa and Mikleo. Okay, we might go up here. I think this is it. 
furthest house back. Whoops, I guess we were already up here. Yes. Yeah, we're and good. And I'll let you hear the rest from Soray himself. I reckon I'll have to. There's a big pipe of his. You idiots! <laughs> yeah, hi, Gramps. I'm back. How could you bring a human into our domain? Easy, Gramps. Didn't you say you'd listen to Soray's side of the story, too? That's just what I'm about to do. You know full well the rules, Soray. How could you break them like this? I'm sorry, Gramps, but I couldn't just leave her there. That might help. Her kind is sure to bring nothing but trouble to our domain. But I'm her kind too, you know. Aww. Poor baby. You were raised along with our kind, which nurtured in you the ability to perceive us and converse with us. Normal humans have no such capacity. You should understand that more than anyone else. Well, it is true. She doesn't appear to have any resonance. But Gramps, this is the first time Soray's ever met a fellow human. Perhaps. But if she can't see or hear the same things we do, she has no business in this realm. That's a bit harsh. Uh, I have raised both of you as my own since you were but babes. All the while, doing my best to protect this land. And for that, I am grateful. And I did that because the time draws near when you will both serve to protect this shrine, just as all the others have done. Our priority is the peace of Elysium. Any intruders, no matter how harmless, must be cast out. Yes. Then it's time she left. Can we at least give her time to prepare for her departure? Hmm. Just make it quick. Thank you. Oh well. What can you do? Gramps. I know, I know, McLeo. He means well, in all things. And that's the very reason why I'm so worried for him. Yeah, I definitely feel like Sir Ray needs, like, a bodyguard or a friend at all times, because he's the type who would just, like, wander off and go, like, pet a dangerous animal because he thinks it's cute. Not talking from experience, but just saying. Okay. Oh, we haven't opened this yet. Oh, I bet that was bugging you guys. A natural waistcoat. Is that better than anything that we have? Maybe. Can I do any of these? I can do this. Ooh. Stuff. Okay. Wait for her in your room. <laughs> yes. Now, she is a respectable woman. But. <laughs> very attractive. Hey. Mikleo, you're not her. What's a glove? Hey, wow! Is this crest what I think it is? Yep. He this puts is it the on. Mark of the shepherd. I knew it! The chosen one who communicates with the seraphim, controlling their incredible powers as if they were his own. The shepherd! <laughs> Sound like your kind of thing? Maybe. I always thought that Mankind's Savior would actually look a bit more imposing. Be silent, Seraph Beast! Ugh. I shall not. Hm. Excavated relics aren't play toys. Thank you, Mikleo. True. She certainly is taking her time. I'll see what's up. It's probably just enjoying the place. It's beautiful. I do love that we have the glove, though. Where did he put it? I guess. This is a nice little home for Sir Ray. Got a comfy little bed over here? Shoot, I'd live here. Uh, you're the only human here, Sir Ray. She can't see us. So, I'd imagine she thinks you're mighty weird. 
Well, Suri is kind of... Eh. Uh, I suggest you do what you can not to act suspicious or make her nervous. Though I imagine she's plenty discombobulated already. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Suri's, uh, talking to no one. Did a performance piece as soon as he entered town. Okay. So just gonna be new save galore. Where did she go? She is over here. Oh, hello. Hmm. Enjoy yourself? Let me just talk to your back. I sure did. But it's weird. I felt like I was being watched the whole time. <laughs> well, you're not wrong. Uh, uh, Shall we eat? I'm sorry. I feel like I'm going to faint. Let's oh. head to my place. That's not good if you feel like you're gonna... Okay, I have to talk to this guy. I just saw him from the corner of my eye. That's too crazy of a combo of hair and clothes not to talk to. Uh, it seems she's quite taken with how beautiful Alicia is. Oh, well, you're not nearly as exciting. Part of me wishes we could speak to her. Oh. Well, that's okay. Maybe Gosh, one day. I hope we didn't worry him. Hmm? Oh, uh, nothing. Oh, sorry. Okay. We just go Welcome on in. in. Wow, it seems like the house is a lot bigger than when we were last in here. Am I crazy? Hey. <laughs> hmm? I don't know, it might just be because so then, what's your hometown like? Well, I'm from the capital, Lady Lake, in the Kingdom of Highland. Lady Lake? Cool. Like in the Legend of the Sacred Blade? King You've Arthur's heard of sword? it? It was in the Celestial Record! The, sword the legend the lake. says the Lady of the Lake guards the Sacred Blade, yep. and the one who draws it becomes the Shepherd, right? Yes. It was a lively and bustling town, blessed with bountiful water, rich in festivals and fine drink. She's so Wait, formal, I love it. Was? Well, it used to be. Things must be hard for folks in the world below. Below? The land that lies beneath the mountaintops. I've never left home before. You've always lived here by yourself? Uh... Sounds to me like you're the one who's had it rough. <laughs> oh, I'll let me laugh. help you get ready for your return trip tomorrow. You need anything? Bread, rations, stuff like that? That'd be great. If you have any tools or a sleeping bag, it'd be great too. Gotcha. Well then, first we'll need to do some hunting. I'll be your guide tomorrow. Thank you so much for everything. Oh, you're very welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Come on! Hurry it up, Mikliel. We ain't got time to mess around. Yeah, I'll leave in a moment. Dang. Gramps gave me all kinds of things to take care of. I'm gonna be pretty swamped for a while. Bummer. Well, don't you worry about me, at least. Oh, awkward. So, Ray, Gramps only wants... How does Mikleo not see her? Yeah, oh. I know. Uh. Nicleo! Uncomfortable. Maybe later. Sure. She's like, I need to leave immediately. Good morning. You sleep okay? Yeah, like a log. Been ages since I've done that. I don't know. She might have figured it All out. All right by then. Now. Shall we? If she's read the celestial. Uh, the prickle boars lurk to the, the left of the entry the gate. Book. It's an ideal hunting place. Are we hunting prickle boars? Okay. Got it. She seems really intelligent. I wouldn't put a password to figure it out. Okay, uh, we might hunt the prickle boars next time. I think there's a safe spot down there somewhere. I don't know. I was getting into some other stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I'll save that for next time. This video is about... 19 minutes, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for a second episode. We can end it there. Plus, like, I feel like if I record any more today, my energy level might just, like, deplete. So, yeah. We'll save it there. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching, and again, the whole spiel of please follow me on Twitter, 
Uh, I would say Tumblr, however, Twitter's where I'm posting more often. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the link for all that is in the description, and please like the video because that does help a lot. And if you have any feedback for me, um, please comment that below because I am still learning all of the stuff about YouTube, editing, all of it, so any constructive criticism would be much appreciated. But I'm just going to leave it there, and yeah, so see you guys next time.